Getting set for the fifth game of the 2012 season here on USDTorreros.com. It'll be USD at Drake. The Bulldogs playing host here after the bye week. San Diego coming in at 2-2. Two two. Head coach Ron Carragher is with us. Coach, congratulations coming off a win in your PFL opener against Valparaiso. How are you feeling coming off your bye week, which is always nice on a very long season? I think it was a good week. Uh, coming so early in the season, we know we got a long way to go, and it was a productive week. It was a uh, not a week off, but a get-better week. Uh, we had a good chance to do our ones versus ones, to battle, and and to keep pushing each other to get better and had a chance to work with our freshmen scrimmages at the end of every practice so uh, develop them as well but all in all it was a good week uh, to get out and now we're back in the mode of uh, game week. You know, we always look at this game, at the Dayton game as well, as these three schools, Jacksonville's kind of come up as well, but this is the top of the conference here, historically speaking, San Diego and Drake, another good showdown coming up. Absolutely. Drake football is a very strong program, going back to Coach Ash, and now Coach Creighton's done an outstanding job there, so a good rivalry. It's really our regional rival, if you will, uh, going back to Iowa, the closest school in the Pioneer Football League. Uh, we're excited. Uh, we know uh, they've been competitive each and every year for the conference championship last year. Uh, 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 co-conference champions and so we have a lot of respect for that program and our guys are looking forward to this one. Yeah, you, you talk about the records from last year and now the records this year. You both have two losses but on each side, both teams, both those losses have come to ranked opponents. So you have two great teams coming in this weekend. Definitely. Uh, both have very challenging non-conference schedules playing, uh, you know, four teams combined between the two of us playing uh, outstanding football and they were they were uh, very competitive. Montana State pushed them into the fourth quarter and and uh, played an Indiana State team, uh, challenged them as well. So, uh, uh, you know, they had their hands full, we had our hands full, and now we're in the conference play. And don't forget, by the way, uh, going in just down by six against Cal Poly in the fourth quarter, leading against Harvard in the fourth quarter. You did that as well. Let's look at this week for Ken James. Uh, I thought coming off the game before the bye week, his by far best contest of the year, he looked like his MVP self from a year ago. He did. It was flashback to 2011, yeah. uh, the way he was running uh, against Valpo, and we're excited about that. Each and every week, he's stepping up that ladder and improving his game and returning to his former self. So uh, uh, we're excited about Kenny James coming back to our, our team. Offensively for Drake, you know, Mike piakowski has been there for, it seems like, forever. He's now joined Josh Johnson in the top five in career passing yards in the Pioneer Football League. He is always a tough threat. He definitely is. Uh, he finds a way to make plays. Uh, he's a, you know, a really a savvy quarterback. He, he, he exploits defenses, finds their, their weak link, uh, and, and has, does a nice job of spreading the football around, finding the open receivers. And then he, he's also a good runner as well. So a really good athlete, probably an even stronger leader. Uh, I don't know him firsthand, but uh, just from what I see and uh, a lot of respect for him and what he's done in his career there. You know, always talk about when you go to defense getting after a quarterback, especially one as good as he is. Uh, tell me about your defensive line. I think you've got three, four, five, six guys who you rotate in who've all been outstanding. Steve Garjula, Weston, you have joined Blake Oliaro and getting to the quarterback. Yeah, Weston uh, has been a nice addition coming on, uh, and uh, Steve Garjulo opposite Blake has done a good job coming on. So we've got some good depth at the ends, end position, uh, hopefully put to continue to put good pressure on opposing quarterbacks and get after them. Yeah, and you know, Dustin Geyer is there as well. How have you, uh, you look at the first four weeks, every team kind of goes into their bye week saying, we're here, we're going to evaluate. How do you evaluate the first four weeks? Well, I'll tell you, it was uh, some growing pains. Um, we, we learned early on that Cal Poly, a physical, strong football team. Uh, uh, Western New Mexico was a battle through the game. And then Harvard, uh, a four-quarter football game. So we know, I think the, the, the growing pain is, hey, it's going to take four quarters of, of good, solid football to win these games. And, and uh, we got to play some young guys. Uh, we started a few freshmen on the offensive line during that course, and I think they had to grow up quick. So all in all, I think we've uh, developed some young players, developed some depth, uh, and, and learned the lesson, hey, we, we got to play good, solid football for four quarters. We'll do that here coming up on Saturday. Coach, good luck. Coming off the bye week here, we'll get you on the road. Thank you, sir. Great. Thank you, Jack. We continue on. We'll get you everything else, including the game broadcast, right here at USDTorreros.com.